There it is. So, I'm standing here at the junction and two little racks. We thinned this section 2013. It was planted in 1996. In fact, it was in this field. I really should have this spade with me. Um, the planting trees here with my father, I met my current partner, and I now have three children as a result of this planting. That's a whole other story. So planted 1996, thinned in 2013. If you do a no, basal area sweep with your thumb or whatever and calculate it, it's a nice volume, it's a good crop. And um, unfortunately it seems to be infected with this Chilara fraxinea. So I first discovered the disease in a very young plantation, it was planted in tw 2011 as I was grass clearing earlier in the year. Of course I reported the suspicious trees to the Forest Service and they very promptly came and inspected and we got the letter about two weeks ago now to say that they were sorry to say that our plantation at the roadside, the young one, was infected. At that point I decided, well, I'd better look at the rest and here we are looking at the rest and even the oldest plantation that was planted in 1996 is a number of individual trees showing symptoms of the disease. It looks to be, uh, well, it's a shame, isn't it? Some of these trees are doing very nicely to scale them. Here we go. Perhaps 10 inches in diameter, 11 maybe. Nice and straight. Well, by Irish standards, anyway. It's a straight, an Irish straight tree. They tell me that, um, this area is going to be felled and cleared. They're going to remove all the leaf litter from the ground and bury it. They're going to kill all the stumps with herbicide. And as for the use of the timber, well that has yet to be determined. It's raining a bit, but you know it's drier in the woods. Okay. 